Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Heronbrook Farm. It is fantastic to have you here, as always. Uh, a little bit of an update for you. We're at the end of week four of lambing. As you can see behind me, the cave pen is pretty full with our orphan lambs. Uh, they've got free access to the outside now, but it's a little bit drizzly today, so they're all inside having a bit of a sleep. Um, not much action this week from a lambing point of view. It's actually been very quiet. Only two ewes have given birth, both singles. Um, and the only thing that's slightly exciting is, uh, I don't know if you can just see that little gray bundle against the wall there. That is our first Shetland lamb uh, from the mum, who's just down here, letter O. So uh, what we've been getting on with this week is moving the uh, ewes and lambs from the fields that are very near to the house out to the pasture that's a bit further away. Um, so the whole of this episode is gonna be concerned with that. We hope you enjoy it. Let's jump in. So today we are moving some sheep. You can hear them already. Here they are. We're moving some sheep from the field close to home to the field a couple of miles away. These are all, um, the ones we're moving are all over two weeks old now. So we're gonna get them gathered up together. I've got my absolutely top crew on it today, all three boys helping me. So we'll get them moved. We've got everything in, uh, we've separated the ewes from the lambs, we've put out some of the lambs which are going to stay here, let me just show you, so we've got the lambs in here, the ewes around, obviously a lot of corn uh, because they all want to be back with their mums, mums with their babies, so what we'll do now is double check we've got the right lambs with the right ewes, release the ewes we don't want back into the field and then give a treatment to the lambs. It's so noisy. Um, the treatment we give to the lambs is something called Baycox. Uh, coccidiosis is one of the things that lambs try and die from. Um, I obviously try and prevent that and I give this excellent uh, vet um, a, a treatment you can literally only get from the vet and I give it to all the lambs when they're quite young before I turn them out to the far field. So that's what we're going to do next. <coughs> Bringing these 
ewes use across. We uh, found that one of the ewes was rather weak um, and she's only feeding one lamb but she's clearly struggling so we've collected her up and he's just popped her back in the barn. We'll check her over when we get back. That's a very good way because we keep them close to home for the first couple of weeks. It's a really useful check to be able to pick up any issues like that. Right, I'm just going to go past, let Peter behind me into the field and I'll reverse it. So there we have it, that's another batch of ewes and lambs across at the field. Um, you can hear from the barring, you can probably see behind me, there's a little bit of calling as they're finding their right mums. And they'll settle down quickly, the water's here, Peter's just changing the bowser. And yep, new home for the next few weeks for them, so we'll continue to check them a couple of times a day um, and pick up any issues that there are. But oh, that all went pretty well, it's a hot day. Yeah. That went pretty well. So I hope you enjoyed that everybody. If you did enjoy it, please do hit the subscribe button, give us a like, leave us some comments, ask us some questions, and we'll see you on the next one.